SATCOM. The SATCOM, or SFC, is a shunt connector reactive power compensation device that is capable of generating and slash or absorbing reactive power and in which the output can be varied to control the specific parameters of an electric power system. It is in general a solid state switching converter capable of generating or absorbing independently controllable real and reactive power at its output terminals when it is fed from an energy source or energy storage device at its input terminals. Voltage source converter that, from a given input of DC voltage, produces a set of three phase AC output voltages, each in phase with and coupled to the corresponding AC system voltage through a relatively small reactant. Principal operations. A STATCOM is a controlled reactive power source. It provides a desired reactive power generation and absorption entirely by means of electronic processing of the voltage and current waveforms in a voltage source converter, VSC. The exchange of reactive power between the converter and the AC system can be controlled by varying the amplitude of the three-phase output voltage, S, of the converter, as illustrated in figure. That is, if the amplitude of the output voltage is increased above that of the utility bus voltage, at, then a current flows through the reactants from the converter to the AC system and the converter generates capacitive reactive power for the AC system. If the amplitude of the output voltage is decreased below the utility bus voltage, then the current flows from the AC system to the converter and the converter absorbs inductive reactive power from the AC system. If the output voltage equals the AC system voltage, the reactive power exchange becomes zero, in which case the STATCOM is said to be in a floating state. A STATCOM provides a desired reactive power by exchanging the instantaneous reactive power among the phases of the AC system. The mechanism by which the converter internally generates and slash or absorbs the reactive power can be understood by considering the relationship between the output and input powers of the converter. The converter switches connect the DC input circuit directly to the AC output circuit. Thus net instantaneous power at the AC output terminals must always be equal to the net instantaneous power at the DC input terminals, neglecting losses. The characteristic of a STATCOM reveals another strength of this technology that it is capable of yielding a full output of capacitive generation almost independently of the system voltage, constant current output at lower voltages. This capability is particularly useful for situations in which the STATCOM is needed to support the system voltage during and after faults where voltage collapse would otherwise be a limiting factor. The maximum attainable transient overcurrent in the capacitive region is determined by the maximum current turn-off capability of the converter switches. In the inducted region, the converter switches are naturally commutated, therefore, the transient current rating of the STATCOM is limited by the maximum allowable junction temperature of the converter switches. In practice, the semiconductor switches of the converter are not lossless, so the energy stored in the DC capacitor is eventually used to meet the internal losses of the converter, and the DC capacitor voltage diminishes. However, when the STATCOM is used for reactive power generation, the converter itself can keep the capacitor charged to the required voltage level. This task is accomplished by making the output voltages of the converter lag behind the AC system voltages by a small angle, usually in the 0.18 to 0.28 range. In this way, the converter absorbs a small amount of real power from the AC system to meet its internal losses and keep the capacitor voltage at the desired level. The same mechanism can be used to increase or decrease the capacitor voltage and thus, the amplitude of the converter output voltage to control the VAR generation or absorption.